KK English Channel. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to KK English Channel. We are having a listening class today on Year Three, Lesson Thirty Three. 我们今天要看的是三年级 Guess My Class 最新的一课，叫做 My New House， 我的新家。Let's check out what we are learning to do today. Number one. We are learning to listen and match at least five rooms. 我们等一下呢要学习一些我们在去年已经学过的房间，但是我们今年要重新重点学习一下。然后你要听搭配五间房间以上哦。Number two, we are learning to use behind and in front of. 我们要用英文的介词，比如说在后面或在前面来形容一个东西的地方。Number three, we are learning to listen and point. 我们要听了然后指出正确的东西。Okay, let's look at this picture. They are number one to number nine. Can you tell me what are these? Let's look at number one. 一号图片是什么来的？什么房间呢？睡房对不对 ？We call it bedroom. Everybody say bedroom. Okay, number two. It's the attic. 这个是阁楼。阁楼呢，有时候有老鼠啊，有些储藏室啊，有时候会有 monster 哦。Number two. That's an attic. Everybody say attic. Okay, number three. This is where we take shower. We go to the toilet. This is the bathroom. Follow me and say bathroom. Very good. Let's look at number four. Number four. There's a fridge. There's a pot. There's an oven. There's a sink. 这是厨房，对不对？厨房叫什么呢 ？Kitchen. Follow me. Say kitchen. Okay. Well done. Number five. This is where we eat. And this is where we have breakfast, we have lunch, and have dinner. Where is this? It's the dining room. Follow me and say dining room. Well done. Number six. 客人来看爸爸，爸爸不在家。我请客人先坐下，坐在这里。Okay, 坐在这里，这个叫 living room. 客厅 Follow me and say living room. Perfect. Okay, let's look at number seven. There's a computer desk here. 这里有个电脑桌。通常一个温习或者是工作室，我们叫做 study room. Follow me and say study room. Good. Now let's look at number eight. 八号的房间。哎，这个是地下室的一部分，对不对？那通常我们都叫做这个叫 washing room 或 laundry room。当然，我们现在学的是整个地下室，所以它叫做 cellar. Cellar. So number nine. What's number nine? 楼梯对不对？楼梯叫 stairs， stairs， 没错，这个字前面有 s， 后面有 s， 两个 s 都要发音出来哦。来，再来一次 stairs。现在再重点念给你听一次哦。Number one bedroom 睡房 ，Number two 阁楼 attic， Number three 厕所或浴室 bathroom， Number four 厨房 kitchen， Number five 饭厅 dining room。Number six, 客厅 living room. Number seven, 书房工作室 study room. Number eight, 地下室 cellar. Number nine, 楼梯 stairs. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's look at this room. Can you tell me what room is this? It's the bedroom. Okay. 那我们现在要来学一下到底这个房间里面什么东西哦。Let's look at this. What's this? A wardrobe. Everybody say wardrobe. 来，我们来念一次 wardrobe. Wardrobe. 嗯，这个叫做衣柜、衣橱，放衣服而已哦，不能放书啊，不能放杂物了。这个叫衣柜 wardrobe. This is the bed. 来，念一次 bed. 嗯，床 floor. 来，念一次 floor. 地板 door. 这是门，再念一次 door. Window, 窗户或窗口 Window. 来，我们这五个字再来念一次哦 Wardrobe, bed, floor, door, window. Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next room. Can you tell me what room is this? It's the kitchen. All right. Let's find out what is there in the kitchen. Table, 桌子 Table. Cupboard, 橱柜 Cupboard. Counters, 平台就是准备食物的地方 Counters. Stove, 炉火炉煤气炉都叫 Stove. Chairs, 有椅子 
chairs, sink, 洗手槽或者水槽 sink. 我们再来念一次哦 table, cupboard, counters, stove, chairs, sink. All right. What room is this? Can you tell me? It's the bathroom. All right. Let's find out what is in the bathroom. We have the toilet. 来，我们来念一次 toilet。没错，所以我们在班上向老师征求允许要去上厕所的时候，我们应该是说 May I go to the bathroom？ 或者 May I go to the washroom？ 我们不能够说 May I go to the toilet？ 因为 toilet 是马桶，你不能够跟老师说，请问我可以上马桶吗？对不对？我们要礼貌一点，我们可以上厕所吗 ？So toilet。Next tub。这个叫浴缸，来念一次 ，tub、mat、防滑垫子 ，mat、basin、洗手盆、洗脸盆 ，basin、towel、毛巾 ，towel、shower、花洒 ，shower。嗯，我们再来念一次哦 ，toilet、tub。Mat, basin, towel, shower. Okay, very good. So what's this room? It's the living room. 这个是客厅。我们来看一下图片有什么东西哦。这个字呢跟马来文不一样。在国文呢，我们是学 sofa。在英文呢，这个字变成轻声 sofa, sofa. 嗯，很舒服的，躺在沙发上叫 sofa。Okay. Coffee table, coffee table, 茶几，就是放一些小零食啊、小食物，还有端茶、喝茶的地方，这个叫小茶几。Coffee table. TV, 电视机，记得 TV 我们在二年级学过 ，T 跟 V 都要大写。Lamp, 灯泡或者灯。Lamp. Okay. 现在我们看到了 Anna 跟 Greg， 对不对？ Anna 在楼上 ，Greg 在楼下。Hi Anna。那这两层楼，我们在英文里面呢，楼层叫做 story。来念一次 story。没错，这个是第一层，第是第二层。楼上叫做 upstairs。来念一次 upstairs。There are two S's， so we have to say upstairs。How about 楼下呢？楼下叫 downstairs。There are also two S. You must say correctly. Downstairs, 楼下。所以两层楼我们叫做 stories。我们加一个 S 就两层楼哦。Single story, 单层。Double story, 两层。所以你看 Greg and Anna 住的房间是两层楼的。Okay, now we are going to do a little test. 我们要做一个小小的测验。你看到图片出现了四个房间，对不对 ？Can you tell me what room is number one? It's a kitchen. Number two, what is the room? It's a bathroom. You have a shower here. Number three, what's this room? It's the living room. Number four, this is the bedroom. 您答对了吗 ？Very good. Now it's time to listen and match. 没错，我们要进入第一个环节的测验喽。你要听，然后用手指指出来正确的房间。我们来比赛一下，究竟是 Mr. Mao 的手比较快，还是你的手比较快知道？那我们要看一下到底谁比较快喽。Number one, kitchen。嗯，好像我比较快，对不对<笑> ？Number two, cellar。啊哈。Number three, bathroom。Number four, dining room。Number five, bedroom。Number six, living room. Number seven, stairs. All right, that's the first part of our lesson. 我们现在一步去第二部分喽 Today we are going to look at two words. 在前面跟在后面 First, let's look at behind. Everybody say behind, behind. 在后面哎，在英文我们要怎样说出来在后面呢？来看一下图片 Let's look at the picture. Can you see the boy? Can you see the books? Where is the boy? The boy is behind the books. 
the boy is behind the books. 这个男生在书的后面，所以 the boy is behind the books. The boy and the dog. Where's the dog? 狗在哪里呢 ？The dog is behind the boy. 狗在男生后面。The dog is behind the boy. There's a mouse and a box. Where's the mouse? The mouse is behind the box. Hmm. Next, 下一个图片你告诉我讲造句哦。There's a bear in the tree. Where's the bear? The bear is behind the tree. Very good. Next, there's a sun and there are clouds. Where is the sun? The sun is behind the clouds. Okay. Let's look at in front of. 来念一次 in front of. One more time. In front of. 在前面 Look at the picture and tell me what sentence can we make. My dad and mom. TV. Where is my dad and mom? My dad and mom are in front of the TV. 嗯，我的父母亲在电视机的前面。This is Anna. This is a mirror. 这是一个镜子 Where is Anna? Anna 站在镜子前面怎么说 Anna is in front of the mirror. Oh, there's a cat. There's a Christmas tree. Where is the cat? 猫猫在哪里呢 The cat is in front of the Christmas tree. 来，你告诉我一下，这个狗叫什么 ？A dog. 狗屋呢 ？Kennel. OK. 狗叫 dog. 狗屋叫 kennel. 你应该怎么造句呢 ？The dog is in front of the kennel. 对，狗在狗屋的前面。The dog is in front of the kennel. 嗯，你看到图片很多东西，对不对？我要问的问题是 ，Where is the man? 这个男人在哪里呢 ？Where is the man? 这个男人在咖啡店的前面。它也可以在女生的前面，对不对？来，我们看看一下。如果说在 coffee shop 的前面，讲造句。The man is in front of the coffee shop. 他站在咖啡店前面。如果我们说他排队排在女生前面的话呢，我们要说 The man is in front of the girls. OK。现在我们要做一个小小的测试喽。The picture you can see three sets. OK, here's a wardrobe. 一个衣柜，床 ，bed. TV 电视机 ，sofa 沙发 ，toilet 马桶 ，mat 防滑垫。So number one, answer my questions. Where is the wardrobe? 衣柜在哪里？衣柜在前面还是后面？后面叫什么 ？In front of 还是 behind 呢 ？Behind. 所以这个句子应该是 The wardrobe is behind the bed. 那第二题我的问题是 Where is the sofa? 沙发在哪里？嗯，沙发在电视机的前面，对不对？前面叫什么 ？In front of the sofa is in front of the TV. Next, where is the toilet? 马桶在哪里 ？The toilet is behind the mat. 马桶呢，在防滑垫的后面。对，那我们反过来看一下。如果问你，来看第一个图片哦。Where is the bed? 床在哪里？刚刚我们说衣柜在床的后面，所以床在衣柜的前面。前面叫什么 ？In front of the bed is in front of the wardrobe. Next, where's the TV? 电视机在沙发的后面，是叫什么 ？Behind. The TV is behind the sofa. Last one. Where is the mat? Where is the mat? The mat is in front of the toilet. Okay. 如果你还不是很清楚的话，你可以暂停这个画面，然后你学习一下。Now we are going to look at these eight words. 我们要看一下这八个字，我们再来复习一下哦。有些已经学过，有些是新的。In 里面 ，On 上面 ，Under 在下面 ，Behind 在后面 ，In front of 在前面 ，Between 在两个东西中间 ，Downstairs 在楼下 ，Upstairs。在楼上，记得哦。如果你等一下不懂要填什么选择的话，你可以回来这边看。记得哦，那我们要接下去。记得哦，那我们要接下去下一个部分了。
They have five pictures on the screen. 你可以看到有五个图片。Can you help me to fill in the blanks using in front of or behind? 你可不可以帮助老师呢填充用选择在前面 behind 跟在后面？再来，现在呢你在屏幕上面看到了五个图片。You can see five pictures on the screen. Can you help me to fill in the blanks? 你可不可以帮助我呢填充？我们现在看一下生字哦。Gloves 是手套 ，hat 是帽子 ，chick 是小鸡 ，hen 是母鸡 ，teapot 是茶壶 ，cup 茶杯 ，dog 是狗 ，kennel 是狗屋 ，bear 是熊 ，ball 你知道的，这是球。好，我们现在用两个选择来填充一下 ，in front of 和 behind， 你可以暂停一下这个影片哦。那我们等一下回来检查一下答案，看你对多少题。OK， 准备好了吗 ？Let's check the answer. The glove is. In front of the hat, the chick is behind the hen. 小鸡在母鸡后面。The teapot is in front of the cup. 我们的茶壶在茶杯的前面。The dog is in front of the kennel. 我们的狗呢在它的狗屋前面。The bear is behind the ball. 它在球的后面。您答对五题了吗 ？OK. Now we are going to the Anna's new house. 你可以在课本找到这个图片跟这些歌词。那我们先来看看一下歌词在讲什么东西，我们才来听歌，好不好 ？Let's listen to this song first. Let's learn about what is in this song. Come with me to my new house. 跟我来到我的新家。My new house, my new house. Come with me to my new house. I'm upstairs and you are downstairs. 我在楼上，你在楼下。哎，他说我在楼上。那请问唱这首歌的人是谁啊 ？Anna 还是 Greg？ Anna， 因为他说我在楼上，你在楼下。你指的就是 Greg。来，接下来看这里。My doll is in the kitchen. 哎，他说他的洋娃娃在这里，对不对？他说洋娃娃在厨房。哎，可是洋娃娃在外面了。嗯，没错。我们今天要把这个歌词呢。东西正确的放进正确的地方，要根据它的歌词，把旁边这些东西放去正确的房间、正确的地方。Rex is behind the door。哎，谁是 Rex？ 这里有四个东西啊。Rex 是这只狗。Rex is behind the door。Rex 在门的后面。哎，你可以看到整个屋子里面哪里有门呢？你找一下哦。The toys are in front of the wardrobe。玩具呢，在衣柜的前面。嗯，玩具在哪里？哦，玩具在这里。衣柜在哪里？嗯，你找一下哦。Wardrobe。来，最后一个句子。My clothes are on the bedroom floor. Clothes 是衣服，衣服在哪里呢？找到了吗 ？Bedroom 是哪里间房间？哦 ，floor 是哪一个部分呢？来，我们下来听歌一下哦。Let's listen to the song. Okay, do you like the song? Now let's answer questions. 我们来回答问题吧。Where is the doll? 洋娃娃在哪里呢 ？The doll is on the table. The doll is in the kitchen. 你答对了吗？娃娃在桌子上，娃娃在厨房里。Where is Rex the dog? 哎 ，Rex 这只狗在哪里呢？它在门哪里？它在门的后面，对不对？后面叫什么 ？B. 嗯 ，Rex is behind the door. 他在睡房的哪里呢？里面，对不对 ？Rex is in the bedroom. Where are the toys? 玩具在哪里呢？玩具在衣柜的哪里呢 ？Wardrobe. 前面，对不对？前面叫什么 ？In front of. The toys are in front of the wardrobe. 那他们在睡房的哪里呢？里面，对不对 ？In the bedroom. Where are the clothes? 衣服在哪里呢？在地上，对不对 ？On the floor， 那衣服在睡房的
里面 in the bedroom。像我们复习会喽，你要回答我四个问题哦。Look at this picture. A B C D. 那等一下你会在 Google Classroom 看到这些题目，你要正确的去完成哦。A. Where's the doll? 狗在哪里 ？B. Where's the doll? 洋娃娃在哪里 ？C. Where are the clothes? 衣服堆在哪里呢 ？D. Where are the toys? 玩具又摊在哪里呢？那等一下你就需要去了 Google Classroom 去完成这些练习哦。OK， 这个呢就是你今天的练习。那你今天的练习要做进 Writing Book 里面，你不需要把图片画出来，你只需要回答一到六题，请你把题目跟答案都写进你的布置里面。OK， 比如说第一题 ，Where is the cat? 猫在哪里？他要你回答是在椅子的哪里，所以你要填 On the chair。OK。题目也要写，然后再把正确答案写下在下面，并把你填充的那个答案呢划线起来。那第二题 ，Where are the trainers？ 什么是 trainers？ 运动鞋。所以运动鞋在床的哪里呢？嗯。第三题 ，Where are the glasses？ 眼镜是 glasses。他说眼镜在 table，table table 是桌子，对不对？眼镜在 table 的哪里呢？第四题 ，Where's the chair？ 椅子在哪里 ？table。嗯，他叫你说椅子在 table 的哪里？第五题 ，Where are the books？ 书本在哪里 ？The bag， 书包。哎，书本在书包的哪里呢？第六题 ，Where's the ball？ 球。嗯，球在哪里？他说 ，The door 在门的。呃，你看图片，球在门的哪里呢 ？OK， now you also have these six questions in your Google Classroom。要把这六题先写进你的 Writing Book 里面，然后正确的完成它。That's all for today. See you next time.